Kia ora, e te whanau, no mai, haere mai, a very good afternoon. It is an absolute Bobby Tesla here, round eight of course, the final round of the Bunnings Heartland Championship here at the Ashburton Showgrounds. It is Mid Canterbury of course, sitting in fourth, vying for a Meads Cup semi-final spot today, taking on the Poverty Bay Weka who have travelled south today from Gisborne. It's, a, it's an absolute dream start, isn't it, Buff? And that is really nicely taken down by the Mid-Canterbury side. It was uh, MacArthur, and look at them. The rolling mill driving towards the line. Mid-Canterbury, try! Try! A minute 20 into the game. I don't know how early the earliest try has ever been scored in a Bunnings Heartland game. That's got to be right up there. A minute 22, and it is Mid-Canterbury crashing over, just playing some really smart footy, keeping it in the forward pack there. Poverty Bay, the Waka. Come down to a beautiful sunshine, Ashburton. It's just gone over the top of Talmata, and it is uh, Burrell. And look at Burrell. He's away like a thief in the night. Try! Mid Canterbury, straight between the posts. He absolutely leapt on that, didn't he? Well, you can't miss tackles in any form of rugby, particularly your first up tackles. They've missed the line out, Poverty Bay, unfortunately. And then the big captain. Burrell, Callum Burrell has dived on the ball, snapped it up, lovely right foot step. And here we go, the big charging forward, of course, Cadus Honor, who is a relation of the Dunsters, a cousin of the Dunster brothers. There's three of them in the King Country side. So he's from a good family, unfortunately, on this occasion, Mid Canterbury unable to hold on to it. So here's an opportunity, Poverty Bay, with the show and go. Norris worked there from Rocco Tuwai, he had no support whatsoever. They'll be. Tell you what, they'll be disappointed with that. Brilliant run from the halfback. No support there to back them up. They lose the ball yet again. Yeah, unfortunately, big Michael Hennings, the big number eight from McCannery, straight over the top. Poverty Bay just standing back watching. Callum Burrell. As they call them in Australia, bin chickens. Yeah. Scavengers. <laughs> And uh, here we go, Mid Canterbury rumbling forward, keeping things tight and doing it well. Poverty Bay with a bit of defending to do here. And look at the talk. Hennings getting them going forward, still going here. Gone nearly, they're getting close to going 20 metres here, Mid Canterbury. And Poverty Bay do really well, defend really well to hold that out, but they've gone wide. And here we go, Mid Canterbury, Fasara Kuta. In the corner, over. Try time, third one for Mid Canterbury. And first of the day for Ratabe Vasarakuta. Beautiful hands there. And just a very simple try in the corner. With the ball, the left wing of Poverty Bay. And he winds up, and he winds up well. And here he goes. Eating metres for fun. He tucks it on the inside to Rocco Tuawai. Fantastic work so far. Still with it. Here come the Poverty Bay wicker. Met the nice tackle. Still with the ball here, Poverty Bay. It's the best attacking we have seen from them so far today in the number 17. But oh, Mark, I tell you what, you wouldn't know he's a prop the way around there. And they win a penalty. Brilliant piece of attack and play. That's more like it. Right. So chance here for them. Line out. They've definitely got players who have the ability to run from anywhere. From what we've seen this year, they can score tries from anywhere on the ground. And this is smart footy here. They've obviously seen Mid Canterbury do it to effect. Now they've got it themselves, a rolling mill. It is stopped though on that occasion. And here he goes, the first five, looking for the little show and go. He looks to be a great bull runner. Inches away from the line, Putty Marker, now they're over. Poverty Bay Wecker. Into the fray, and it is, of course, the outside centre. Some beautiful support play from Purvis. Of course, the son of the fantastic, great, I should call him, Waikato prop, Graham Purvis. Hennings, Michael Hennings at number eight. He's been big off the back of the scrum already. Yeah, that's going nowhere, that scrum. Brilliantly set. Here we go. McCloy, now they go wide. It's in us. Ben in us. Half cap, very nicely taken. Uh, Tackle there from Purvis, and it is the second five fairly who's come in, but the referee has penalised them. And Mid Canterbury will get another opportunity here. Wow, uh, unfortunately, Poverty Bay 12 fairly did a great job actually defending there and then went in for the ball and unfortunately just fell off his feet. So Mid Canterbury, Hennings at the front, tap and go.
in that terminate. Has he scored? Yes, that's a try. He has. He's caught up with it. And it is, of course, Hennings. And it is Mid Canterbury just doing enough there, doing the basics and doing it well. Well, you can see the ball there on the line. He's gone in nice and low. The referee was in a great <laughs> position. Dunster saving a pretty good season, King Country. And, of course, everything going down to this final round today to decide the Meads in the Hall Cup semi-finals. But Mick Canterbury still with the ball here. Connor again getting his hands on it. And that's nice, beautiful. Ricky through. Through the gap, tucks it on the inside. And it is a beautiful pass. It is McClay. It is Mick Canterbury under the horns. Wonderful work from McGregor Best, the open side flanker, backing up like any good open side flanker should. Gives it to McClay. Simple try, but a lovely break from Tom Rinky to set things up there. Patumaka, he's been good with ball in hand, the big 17. Really key. Peroni bangs this one down long. Lovely catch by Middleton. Shifted. Vassal Lakuta. They don't want to let this guy run. And away he goes. It's brilliant from Vassal Lakuta on the inside. Backing up yet again. Kieran McClay. Overgo mid Canterbury. Really nice try. Brilliant support from McClay. Nicely done from Vassal Lakuta oh. down that left side. And here we go, Riki again. We talked about his attack and prowess to Thomas Middleton. Middleton on to the inside. That's Kieran McClay. That's a first half hat trick. Some brilliant play, timing of the passes. They know what each other is. They know exactly what one another are doing. It's almost telepathic out there. Mid Canterbury, what an outstanding first 40. 47 7, Donnie. Outstanding first 40 minutes of rugby. Poverty Bay. They do, they go with a short option, and here he go. We know how well he's run. Oh, he deserves it, Oh, Is he going to give it? He's, he's going it. it. Fatu Naka. Over for the Poverty Bay Wicker. And we get excited for the away side. They get it. We just talked about holding on to the ball. They hold the ball, several phases, couple of penalties, work their way downfield. They will be really happy with the start of the second half here. Well, it was straight off the line out. There was the bit. It was straight off the training paddock oh, as well. Move, Beautifully done right around the front of the line out. We'll just update you. I believe two changes made there from mid Canterbury as we come back to the action here with Higgins. Well, oh, some really nice breakouts from the outside packs of mid Canterbury. But right now, it is Tomata, a man who gives everything for his beloved poverty based side. And he's done well there. He's just pinned his ears back and gone for it. Crashes over. Try Poverty Bay. They're third for the game. Well, I just love the way they've come back out in this first, second half. And tell Marta, well, there was two guys on him. Three in, by the looks, by the end. And you'd have to say they'll be disappointed with their defence. But this boy here, he just keeps on going. Great attitude. And great that you could all make donations to all those that are here today. Of course, supporting the cause and supporting their home side. A lot of them who are going to see their side in the Meads Cup semi-final all boding well for the first time in nine years. Strong run here from Burrell, the captain. Mid Canterbury, hot on attack. Opportunity, they switch wide. Here he goes, McCloy. Finds the inside ball, lovely work. Lennox, Lennox over. Brilliant piece of defence. No. And he's gone penalty. He didn't let penalty, go of the ball. Poverty Bay. It didn't let go of the ball. He was tackled to the ground. And I have a funny feeling it was Purvis, Mitchell Purvis. So, no, apologies. It was Ticket of Dundrake. He did a great job there. And then he hasn't let go of the ball. Got to his feet, regathered and gone. He's just gone again. And they go wide and here he goes. Number 14, Philomone. Can he find this man? You bow. Oh. They cannot hold on to it. He looked like he'd done everything right there, Philomone. And it is Fasada Kuta who's done really well to come up with that for Mick Canterbury. Chance gone begging there. And now Mick Canterbury, a chance to gallop away, and they will. Here they come, Mick Canterbury, looking to find their man. Fasada Kuta holds the ball up really nicely. Tell you what, it's here, there, and everywhere at the moment. Both sides attacking uh, how to scout a footy. How do you describe that? How do you sum that up? And here we go. Parumaka. He's taken. He gives it back here. 
Buchanan. Poverty Bay holding on. How's this ball retention so far? And referee coming back for the penalty. So they'll get another go here. Well, great defence, McHenry. It is brilliant. And here we go. They go wide. Fairly. More calls play on, and Fairly with it needs to find some support. Could be in trouble here. They've got to get him to ground. They do. Poverty Bay and Vassar. Akuta comes in hard into the ruck. And a bit of a bumbling effort. And it is a penalty to Mick Canterbury. So credit to the defence there. They've done enough. Won themselves a penalty. And they've held Poverty Bay out on, I would have said now, three scoring occasions. Mick Canterbury throwing it wide. Trying to entertain us with one final try. Unable to hold on to it though. And Philomone comes up with it. Here goes, tacking opportunity. Here we go, Profit. And he's gone. Going, going, gone. Over for the try. Poverty Bay with their fourth, their third unanswered try in the second half. They haven't given up. It's a really nice try coming out of nothing from that Profit. Well, there's two guys in particular that have been outstanding this second half. Number 14, Fulamona, he's been brilliant. We see her holding on to the ball. And this man here played a bit of rugby for Shirley in Christchurch. And I'll tell you what, Keanu Telmata has not stopped trying. And then this boy here, well, he knows where the try line is. Very well taken try by Matt Prophet. They will be very proud of how they have finished their season. Well, they should be very proud of their second half. Obviously, a little bit disappointing for them. In the first half, the way Mid Canterbury just punished them, but what a game we have just witnessed here at the Ashburton Showgrounds. It is Mid Canterbury with a very well-deserved win, starting from their first half efforts.